I am so in love with this peacock jewellery set and they are so easy to make. So stay tuned because we'll be learning how to do it today. And before you forget, don't forget to subscribe now so you never miss out on free crochet patterns and tutorials. So first things first, I'm recovering from a cold which is why I sound like a darling. So with our blue DK yarn and our 3.5mm hook, we're going to slip knot onto our hook and we're going to chain two. That's one and two. Now into the second chain from hook, I'm going to do six single crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five and six. Now for the next round I'm going to increase to 12, so I'm going to do two single crochets into all the stitches beneath. So I'm going to do an increase into every stitch. So one and two into the first stitch, three and four into the second stitch. Five and six into the third stitch, seven and eight into the fourth, nine and ten into the fifth, and eleven and twelve into the sixth. So now I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch to join, and then we can fasten off with our blue colour. So I am now going to introduce this light blue yarn and you can attach it anywhere you want. I'm going to do the standard start method and we're going to increase our stitches from 12 to 18. So we're going to single crochet in one stitch and then do two single crochet into the following stitch. So I'm going to single crochet one into the first stitch and I'm going to make sure that I crochet my tails in as I go. And I'm going to increase in the second stitch for two and three. Then single crochet into the next stitch for four. single crochet for four <laughs> and increase in the next stitch for five and six single crochet in the next stitch for seven increase in the next stitch for eight and nine single crochet for ten increase in the next stitch for eleven and twelve single crochet for thirteen increase for fourteen and fifteen single crochet for sixteen and increase for 17 and 18. We're now going to increase to 24 stitches so we're going to single crochet in two stitches and then do two single crochet into the following stitch. So into the first stitch we're going to single crochet one and single crochet two into the next stitch and now increase into the third stitch for three and four. Single crochet five and six and increase in the next stitch for seven and eight single crochet 9 and 10, increase in the next stitch for 11 and 12, single crochet 13 and 14, increase in the next stitch for 15 and 16, single crochet 17 and 18 and increase in the next stitch for 19 and 20, and then single crochet for 21 and 22 and increase in the last stitch for 23 and 24 and then we can slip stitch and to join and fasten off we've now finished with our light blue or teal yarn next we will be attaching our magenta colour yarn and we're going to increase from 24 stitches to 30 and to do that we're going to single crochet in 3 stitches and then do an increase in the 4th so I'm doing the stand and start method again, so insert my hook into stitch yarn over, I pull through and finish off as a single crochet. So single crochet that's one and two, don't forget to crochet your ends in, single crochet three and increase in the next stitch for four and five, 
single crochet six seven and eight and increase in the next stitch for nine and ten single crochet eleven and twelve and thirteen single crochet in the next stitch for fourteen and fifteen single crochet sixteen seventeen and eighteen and increase in the next stitch for 19 and 20 single crochet 21 22 23 and increase in the next stitch for 24 and 25 and single crochet 26 27 28 and increase in the last stitch for 29 and 30 and then we can slip stitch to join and fasten off with this beautiful magenta yarn. Next we will be attaching our gold yarn and we're going to increase to 36 stitches but our stitches are going to change so pay, pay close attention to this round. So we're going to introduce our colour as normal and I'm going to single crochet four. So that was one, and two, three, and four. And I'm going to do two single crochets into the next stitch. Four, five, and six. And I'm going to single crochet seven, and eight, nine and ten and into the next stitch I'm going to do two half double crochets so we're going to increase 11 and 12 as half double crochets and now I'm going to do four double crochets so one double crochet into each of the next stitch, next four stitches so that's one and two three and four and then I'm going to do two double crochets into the next stitch. And then I'm going to do another four double crochets. So one double crochet into the next four stitches. So that's one. And two. Three. And four. And two double crochets into the next stitch. one and two another four double crochets so one double crochet into each of the next four stitches one two three and four and we're going to do two half double crochets into the next stitch so two half double crochets one and two and now I'm going to single crochet four, one, two, three, and four, and do two single crochets into the last stitch. Then we can join and fasten off with our gold. It's now time for our last colour change which is this beautiful green and we're going to increase from 36 to 42 stitches but again our stitches are going to change so pay close attention to this. So we're going to do our colour change as normal making sure that we weave in any of our or crochet in any of our ends as we go. So I'm going to do five single crochets so that counts as one and two, three, four and five and I'm going to do two single crochets into the next stitch for six and seven now I'm going to single crochet five so that's eight nine ten eleven and twelve and then I'm going to do two half double crochets in the next stitch for thirteen and fourteen so two half double crochets 
Now I'm going to do five double crochets, so one double crochet to each of the next stitch, next five stitches. So that's 15 and 16, 17, 18, 19. And I'm going to do two double crochets into the next stitch for 20 and 21. Now I'm going to do another five double crochets for 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, and I'm going to do a double crochet increase into the next stitch for 27 and 28, once I've got some more yarn. So two double crochets into the next stitch, 27 and 28. Now another five double crochets. For 29 and 30, 31, 32, 33, and into the next stitch we're going to do two half double crochets for 34 and 35. And to finish this row, we're going to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And two single crochets into the last stitch. And now we can join and fasten off. And there you have our first peacock drop earring. Well, nearly. A few more things to do. So because we've been really clever and we've crocheted the ends in as we went, now I just have to snip them off at the back. So these two are already weaved in. So we can say bye bye to them. The only two you'll have to weave in is your centre blue and your the end round of green. So it's now time to turn this into a beautiful piece of jewellery. So I got these earring hooks off eBay and they were so cheap. So I'll leave a link below in the description to where you can get these from. And then I went and raided my husband's tool chest to get these pliers or snippers, I don't know what they are. But I'm going to use them to open up the clasp at the very bottom of the earring. As you can tell, I've never done jewellery making before. So there we go. So I've opened the little clip at the bottom. And now all we need to do is thread it through the centre stitch at the top. Now quick tip, I put these on from back to front, which meant that the earring would hang wrong on my ear. So when if you're making your earrings, make sure to put the hook on from front to back so that the nice beautiful part of the earring will be the part that's on show. I did change them. A little later. So then I'm just clamping that clasp shut again. And there we go. So now we just need to do a couple of tassels on the bottom. So to do that I'm going to use my phone because it just always seems to be the right length. And with the same green yarn I'm going to wrap about 18 to 21 times, I think, from memory. This is an iPhone 6 if you're looking for um, how long to make strands, but to be fair, you can make them as long or as small as you want. So I'm going to do a couple of wraps. And then I can snip the yarn pull it off my phone making sure to keep one end together because you don't want to lose 
all your yarns and then we're going to trim at the bottom. So just cut them all in half. Now to attach the tassels I'm going to pick up three at a time, fold them in half and then slip knot them around the stitches at the bottom of our earring. I'm not going to put them right next to each other, I'm going to skip a stitch and then into the next stitch I'm going to do the same thing again. So I'm going to insert my hook from back to front, I'm going to hook three strands in the middle, pull through them to make a loop, and then pull the tails through the loop to create our tassels. And I'm going to do six sets of these. when you're finished attaching all your tassels, straighten them out and you want to cut them to the length that you want. There we go, and there's our first peacock earring. So you now need to go away and repeat this to make the second earring. We now have our two beautiful earrings, but no jewellery design is going to be complete without a matching necklace. So to complete the set, I made a third peacock, peacock earring, if you like, exactly the same way that I made the other two. But instead of attaching the earring clasp, I'm going to attach this chain, which I will also leave in the description to where I bought them. So instead of fastening off completely, we're going to, on our last stitch, we're going to chain one and insert our necklace in between and then do another chain to secure. We just attached this emblem, if you like, to the chain. And then with the green tail, we can weave it in. And there you have your matching necklace. These are honestly so easy to make. And I'm really proud of how they turned out actually. There we go. So I will be typing up this pattern and I will have it for free on my Ralvery store. And I'll leave a link below to that. Um, but if you like this, please leave a thumbs up, a like or leave me a comment. And other than that, I am Teeny Crochet and have a lovely day. Bye now.